So in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview on DNA replication. So in this video, I'm not going to go specifically into what all of the enzymes do, what all of the enzymes are. It's just going to be an overview, and then later on we'll get into the details. And so first of all, I think it's important to briefly talk about why we need DNA replication. And for some people, this might seem really obvious, but for others who are just beginning to learn about DNA replication, it might not be completely obvious. So pretty much we know that each cell has DNA. And so if you're going to make new cells, you essentially need a way to give them genetic information. And so what you can do is you can make a copy of the genetic information in a cell. So let's say you had one skin cell to begin with and then you wanted to make more now you know each cell needs to have dna and so what's going to happen is the parent cell is going to use their dna to create copies of dna for their daughter cells so now let's talk a little bit more about dna replication but let's first look at this image right over here so you have the chromosome and then as you get further and further, as you zoom in further and further, you're going to see that the chromosome is made up of DNA, which is this right over here. So all of this is DNA. Now, I think the most important thing that you get out of this video is that DNA replication, DNA replicates via a semi-conservative method. So what does that mean? All right, so we know that DNA is double-stranded, and now we can see here there is a double-stranded DNA. So the semi-conservative method is essentially you're going to rip apart this DNA. So as you can see here, it's being ripped apart, essentially. And then essentially what's happening is this enzyme called DNA polymerase is making the complementary strand using the parent strand. And so, as we can see here, this strand over here is the parent strand. This strand over here is the parent strand. And now you see DNA polymerase is synthesizing the daughter strand over here and over here. Now this DNA polymerase is able to do this because we know which nitrogenous bases pair up with which one. So let's just take a look at this um, nitrogenous base over here. So this orange, as you can see over here, is thymine. And so we know thymine is going to pair up with adenine, which is in the red, so it's being brought in. And so that is essentially how the DNA polymerase is able to copy and make another strand of DNA. So the DNA polymerase brings new nucleotides in and creates phosphodiester bonds between adjacent nucleotides. And in future videos we'll get more in depth on the direction that the DNA polymerase synthesizes DNA, but it's important for now just to remember that DNA polymerase can only add nucleotides on the 3' end. And so as a result, you're going to have one side. Essentially, it's going to keep adding on nucleotides, while the other side has to essentially make the strand in segments. And so the one that's synthesized continuously is called the leading strand. The one that is made in segments is called the lagging strand. But for now, this may seem really intimidating. Don't really worry about it too much right now. We'll cover it more in detail in future videos. But essentially, the whole purpose of this video was to just give you an overview on DNA replication. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.